Welcome back to Hefner Kitchener Rangers Hockey on Rogers TV. I've got three more Rangers alumni legends down here, so much so that people are taking photos from the seats and telling me to get out of the way so they can get pictures of these three guys. I've got Ben Finelli, Ben Thompson, and Tyler Randall here with me. Guys, I just want to ask off the top, I know your group with Gabe, you've remained so tight for so long. What is it? I've never seen a team that, is, that has been so tight as you guys have been for so long. I'll let you each answer that. Uh, I think, you know, I was talking about this with Paul Fixter upstairs. I, I Looking back now and being here today, interacting with fans that I remember from our time here quite well, I think it was just so many memories and experiences in such, when you think about it now, such a small amount of time. Like it was, for me it was five years, for some it was two, for some, like for Gabe it was only two. But it was so many memories squished into a small amount of time that once you're back here, it all comes back. And I think because those memories are with each other, those relationships just automatically seem to last forever. So. Yeah, I mean for me, I, th I think the reason why we are so close in general, I would say because you know, as a group, we went through a lot, and it, not just on the ice. You know, we went through a lot on the ice, definitely. But we, you know, we definitely went through a lot off the ice as well. And we, we're coming to the league at 16 years old. We're young. We don't know what's going on in the world. We're kind of, you know, we're new. Um, but we kind of all learn together, and we and we kind of find our way together. And I think that's a that's a big thing, especially at that age in your life. Absolutely. Uh, we've been tight since day one like we were at school together we're practicing together we're, we're together all day even after after practice we'll get home and uh we just hung out non-stop we're such a tight group everyone bought into the system we played really well we were su successful on the ice which made us more tight off the ice and uh we brought it every day together all right i'm gonna step between the two bends here so i don't have to step in front of you next time ben but i want to revisit 2012 now okay this playoff series against plymouth we're in game six let me set it up for you tyler you're serving the final game of a suspension if the rangers can win this game and force game seven you get to continue on you score the tying goal you set up the game leading goal from Cur for curtis Meehan, and now you come out in the tunnel tyler with a minute left and you're standing beside me right here hoping the team can hold on to this lead and Cody Saul scores with 30 seconds left. Explain what that felt like for you. Honestly, it, it happened so fast. Coming down here, just, just hoping I get one more shot, one more chance to wear that Rangers jersey and watching that go down was one of the coolest hockey moments of my life. Standing here with you and as soon as that, bu actually before the buzzer went, I was out there in my dress shoes and my red mohawk, hugging all the boys and uh, it was a great, great experience. And what was it for you guys, not just forcing Game 7, but knowing what it meant to have Tyler come back for Game 7? Yeah, I mean, it's funny. We were talking about it before, but it's funny how, you know, you have certain memories of events in your life and, and, and things that happen to you. But what I remember from that night was definitely Rands on the ice with his red mohawk. I don't know. I'll never forget that, you know, coming after, you know, we, big win. All the boys are excited on the ice and things like that. But Rands in his mohawk and his suit, and he's just so excited to play. He, know, he knew he was going to have a four-goal game. I, I just had a feeling. I told him, I ran four goals, you better do it, and he did it, so there you go. It's funny because I've interviewed you and you in the past, and we talked about your favorite moments, and you both mentioned Game 7 and Tyler coming back for four goals. What did that mean to you to experience all that together? It, it, you know, it's one of those things, you asked me that question, It's the emotions are so strong, the emotions come back. Like I, I honestly can't articulate it, but I can remember, I remember the goals I was just saying when we started this interview. I remember how he celebrated when he scored. Like that's how impactful those memories are, and they're still in my mind. So hopefully that answers the question. I can't really explain how amazing it was. I think, you know, as a team at that point, everyone had chipped in, and then a, a player that was out of the lineup comes in and chips in. So literally everyone chipped in to make that happen. And Tyler, last question here. Like, let's go to Game Seven. You're coming back from suspension, four goals, series-winning victory. Can you write the story any better than that? Yeah, it was an out-of-body experience for sure. Um, just getting the chance to put that jersey back on and getting that early first one, it got the adrenaline going and uh, honestly kind of blacked out the rest of the game. Don't remember much, but uh, it was definitely the game of my life, that's for sure. Sure was. A lot of people remember. Do you guys ever thinking of bringing the Red Mohawks back? Yeah. No? We, just saw, we saw a pitcher actually doing the autograph with Ty and his red mohawk, and I don't think anyone should ever have a red mohawk again, but yeah. we'll see what happens, I guess. I think you never say never, right? Yeah. yeah. All right.
Great to catch up with these guys. Stick around. You're watching Rogers TV.